हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जीटा एक्सिस एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेस्टर्न डिस्टरबेंसेस द रेनफॉल इंडिया ऑकर्स टू डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म्स द फर्स्ट वन इज वेस्टर्न डिस्टरबेंस देन प्री मॉनसून रेनफॉल्स मॉनसून रेनफॉल्स एंड रिट्रीटिंग मॉनसून रेनफॉल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओनली अबाउट वेस्टर्न डिस्टरबेंस द रेस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन so western disturbance is an extra tropical cyclone which is developed over mediterranean region and then it is carried towards india by jet streams now the word western disturbance is in itself self explanatory the word western means something which is coming from western directions now we have already seen that the western disturbance is originated over mediterranean region and it comes towards india by jet stream so the western word indicates something coming from the western direction disturbance in climatology means that any area having a low pressure and an air circulating around it now a disturbance is not a fully developed cyclone but it is something which develops into a cyclone the cyclone could be a tropical or extra tropical cyclone but here in the word western disturbance the word disturbance means extra tropical cyclones in general disturbance can be both but in western disturbance the word disturbance means extra tropical cyclones now here we can see how the wind flows across our earth in different seasons we can see here polar jet stream we can see here tropical jet streams and similarly there is an itcz by the green lines and then there are southern jet streams over here and we can see how they move across different seasons sometimes they move northwards in the in the summer season and then they move southwards in the winter season we can see that this tropical jet stream moves over mediterranean in winters and then reaches india in winter the itcz is located closer to tropic of capricorn itcz is a region where winds from both hemispheres meet and in winter it is located below equator this is our tropical region it receives sunlight directly and therefore the air here is hot this is the temperate region here the air does not receive that much sunlight and therefore there are cold airs over here and this forms the margin between these two regions therefore a lot of frontal activity occurs over here some of the frontal activities lead to formation of extra tropical cyclones you can see here that an extra tropical cyclone is formed over the mediterranean region now this extra tropical cyclone is carried by the jet stream towards india you can see that this is the jet stream and it flows like this it carries this extra tropical cyclone over to indian subcontinent and it spreads right from northwestern punjab towards bangladesh and we can see that the effect of western disturbance can be seen all across northern india now sometimes this jet streams have some different orientations it could be located lower over saudi arabia and therefore sometimes we can see that the western disturbance affects the western parts of india like gujarat and rajasthan as well now in this animation we can see formation of extra tropical cyclones over here we can see that the extra tropical cyclones is formed over here these extra tropical cyclones are carried by the jet stream towards india we can see that these cyclones are moving towards india and they will slowly spread in indian subcontinent we can see their effects clearly over here in this animation we can see that how there are waves of extra tropical cyclones which originate over this mediterranean region and then they reach our indian continent this is a bar chart indicating annual rainfall in delhi and we can see that during the month of jan and feb there is a little higher rainfall and this decreases in the month of march this is because of effect of western disturbance even here in december we can see that there is a slight increase in rainfall so it is because from mid december till mid feb we experience several waves of western disturbance which causes rainfall in delhi similarly for lucknow we can see that for jan and feb and december there is slight increase in rainfall and this is because of western disturbance western disturbances occur generally from mid december to mid feb and they affect the regions right from delhi to bangladesh in fact they also affect the western punjabs even in pakistan regions are also affected by western disturbance now the rain which is brought by this western disturbance it helps in rabi crops especially wheat crops 
Now let's see how western disturbance affects the weather. We know that the western disturbance is a extratropical cyclone and the leading edge of extratropical cyclone is a warm front which has a very long chain of mountains form which is spread for several hundreds of kilometers even sometimes thousands of kilometers of clouds are there and therefore we see cloudy sky when western disturbance approaches. We also see higher night temperatures it is because there is warm air in between the extratropical cyclone and the cloudy sky also captures some of the heat and does not allow the heat to escape during nights therefore the night temperatures are increased and because of these clouds we also see rainfall now because this rainfall occurs during winter it further reduces the temperature and therefore we feel cold waves because of western disturbances fog also increases because of the decrease in temperature if there is excessive precipitation then it could lead to rubby crop damages there could be flooding in certain areas in fact some people say that the floodings of Ladakh as well as the floodings of Uttarakhand were because of western disturbances avalanches are triggered because of this western disturbance the rain which occurs in colder regions they convert into snow and we have a lot of snowfall there which triggers avalanches so we can see that the western disturbance do have some positives that is they help our rubby crops but they also bring a lot of negatives if there is an excessive precipitation i hope you understood what is western disturbance and if you like the video then please do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon please follow us on instagram and twitter thank you